King in it. Rule your own world. So the postman's just come. What did he bring you? The postman's actually a legend. He hooked us up with uh, the airline Knock Air in Thailand. One of his mates owns it. Yeah. So we got all three flights, flights in Thailand. So Amazing. <laughs> Wasn't um, it the Philippines? Are you alright? I'm okay. Oh my god, please don't die behind the camera. I'm fine. <laughs> we haven't got the parcel since 2004. Is it off someone? Yeah. Well, it says King in it and it's got Craig and Amy on it. Oh, it's the, the designer candle company again. Is it? Yeah, they sent us some more goodies. What is it? Let's have a look. Oh my god, let me just smell these. Pomegranate noir. Oh, you want to eat them, don't you? Yeah. Use your, your smarter South African voice. South African. Hi, Craig and Amy. I hope you are both well. <laughs> As you're going to the Mongol Rally, I thought this would send you a couple of car air fresheners. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's amazing! What, the accent? No, that's the good. air fresheners. <laughs> <laughs> good idea. That was really good. So that's awesome. Thanks again for being king of it, guys. If I had never found you guys on YouTube, then I don't know what I would be doing this year. We're away on Monday the 19th of March. We're going to Dubai, Australia for a couple of weeks, then Thailand, Malaysia, uh, Singapore, Mays. Bali, Philippines, <laughs> Cambodia, Vietnam, and Laos. Wow, that's so nice. Guys, thanks so much for oh, this. Oh, br- this is just brilliant, isn't it? This is what we needed today. We've been I on know. a bit of a downer this morning, so. Well, we've been on an actual Mongol rally sponsorship. Buzz, haven't we? Sending lots of emails to lots of different companies. So this is so nice. Legends, thanks guys. So if you guys want to send us a sticker, we'll put it on the car for the rally. And if there's anybody out there who wants to advertise on the car, give us a shout, give us an email, and we can do the same for a small fee. Morning! Morning. Today it's time to get some bloody work and get some sponsors. Yeah, we've had a change of heart. Guys, we bloody love you, man. I know we say it at the end of every video, which seems very, like, repetitive and stuff, but we, we genuinely mean it. T- just tell the guys what you what you feel about them. Watch it now. Well, yeah, like the last video we put up, we were, we were both thinking, oh, you know, we need to tell everybody what's happening and just be real and be honest and stuff. And there's literally never been so many comments on one of our videos. The like support from has. you guys has been so awesome. Everybody's just like, keep your chin up, keep working. Yeah. You know, it's all going to come together. And it's just like, it's so cool. It's cause so lovely. I know what it's like. You know, I watch YouTube channels and, and I don't always comment. And so, yeah, thanks so much for all your amazing comments. We were reading through them. We were just like, this is great. Like, yeah. we. We sometimes, we get a bit lost with what we're doing. We're like, what, where is King and it going? But then we get all the inspiration from you guys and then we get back on track. So today is about getting back on track. We're gonna make some phone calls. I'm gonna make a phone call this morning. Cause I don't do phone calls. Uh, it's a guy we've done work for before. I'm yeah. gonna give him a ring, see if he wants some work and see if he wants to sponsor us for the Mongol Valley. So. so he owns like one of the biggest and best gyms in Cardiff. And I, we've just got the motivation today, Craig, haven't we? We're doing it, Ready we're doing it. it. Do you know the worst thing you can say is? <laughs> no, you would never say. You'd just say no. Here we go. This is the very phone voice Good start. Um, I'll give him a call later. <laughs> <laughs> We have got a really exciting Skype call this afternoon though with a company that potentially could sponsor us as well. Uh, Another thing as well, we just want to say thanks to everybody who ordered. As soon as we put that video out, we had so many orders from you guys. Ordering your tank tops for your holidays. Here's a postman. He's gonna go nuts. Oh killer, you're a killer, get him mom. (laughs) He's got a bad attitude. We can't recommend our stuff enough, not just because it's ours and we want to make the money, but we love the stuff, don't we? We yeah. really put our heart and souls into what we feel like would be good for you guys. It's taken us so long to get those vest tops right. Yeah, we don't harp on about it. Like, if you want to buy them, happy days. But if you don't, you don't. But these are back in stock because a lot of people asked about the grey bobble hats. And we've also got the orange crew necks back in stock. This is the Vodafone voice now service for... Just getting ready for our Skype call. Amy didn't bother brushing her ear. But, uh, wish us luck. I don't, I don't need to brush my hair, do I? Didn't brush her teeth either. You shitting yourself? No, not at all. I would have been. I usually am with these kind of things, but you know when you've got like the passion and the fire in your socks? <laughs> it doesn't, it doesn't, it doesn't really like affect you. Cause I know what I'm talking about. I know we're good for it. And I know that they should get on board with this cause it's going to be fantastic. So we're going to pitch to these guys to work with us um, for the Mongol Rally and for the Euro trip. It's 
going well today. Uh, we had a no show on Skype. Didn't even get an email to say, oh, sorry, we're not going to be there. Just, just didn't turn up. Um... Cheers for that, lad. So uh, we're on to the next mission, which is trying to source a rail pass for Europe. Because we were offered one last summer. And uh, we never took them up on their offer, so we're dropping them an email and we'll be like, Hi guys, can we still have our pass please? Cheers driver. We're sick of waiting for people, so we're just going to do our own thing. Next order of business is a bloody Euro trip. <laughs> Check us out, thinking we've already got, you know, the, the interrail thing on, in the bag. But yeah, why not? I mean, we got a bit of time. Dream big, innit? <laughs> Rule your own world. We got a bit of time, like me, I know we're <laughs> But yeah, one of our good friends, Sam Mansbridge, he actually did a Euro trip last year. So I've messaged him to see where's good and which bits were pure shite so we can miss them out. He got, he's got a YouTube channel, hasn't he? Yeah, he's got a YouTube channel, so I'll link it by you. Go and check him out. He's so funny, he's such a lovely person as well. I don't know why he hasn't got more followers. But for now, we're thinking London, Brussels, Cologne, Cologne Poland, Budapest. We need some Cologne. And that's all we've got up to so far. So if you've been, okay, little mullet, turn around. Oh, Jesus, <laughs> don't like look <laughs> at this. Oh look at this, will you please? <laughs> look at those little tufts. Jesus. Boy. So if you've been to Europe and one place you've been is absolutely banging, mate, just let us know. Somebody's mentioned Greece already. Was it a girl you were speaking to? Yeah, there's a YouTube comment. Look at your turtle pose. Oh, can you not? Straighten your back out, will you? Sam and Jordan's Craig. Yeah, so we're we're doing we're driving from London to Russia in a one litre car. Yeah, yeah, we'll be about next week. What does the man have to say? Yes. What does that mean? Uh, he wants to catch up next week, so we're going to go and meet him next week uh, just to talk about some video work. So we got some work on, hopefully. And he's like super keen to sponsor us on the rally. So he's like, just shoot over what you need and, and the requirements, and we'll talk about. Uh, that's ten grand, please. <laughs> How good is that? That's brilliant. Yes. So you need some good news today, don't we? He could be our guy. Jordan bailed us out before. We were just skimmed at one point, and it was when we wanted to go to the Philippines. We had no money, so I went to Jordan. and was like, right, we can do as much work for you as possible. Like, right, we this, this, and this. And then we booked our bloody flights, and we were away. I know. He, he is like a second dad to us, really, isn't he? Pretty much. Yeah. I don't think he knows it, but I appreciate it. That's a wrap for today. Barris is cooking up a storm and we're about to watch Ricky Gervais' new stand-up on Netflix, Humanity. If anyone's seen it, let us know what you thought. See you tomorrow morning. Two, three. Morning. morning. <laughs> it's 7am. Uh, What's the point of that though? This is actually happening. Maybe Barris is awake. Should we not talk today for a bit? <laughs> we're going into Cardiff to see Big Moose. Stephen Hawking died today, how do you feel about that? I didn't even know the guy and I feel really like, oh, did he? He was a great guy, wasn't he? He was pretty special for science, yeah, do you know what he did? Black holes and that. Spot on. <laughs> Is there any need in that though? We just parked the car and now there's a fire in the building so we got to evacuate. No entry, fire exit. Oh, well, you're going to break something now. It's not the day we wanted a fire drill. Hopefully we don't come back to a burnt down car. Amy reckons they just burnt a panini in Pratt. <laughs> the music pumping from Big Moose. <laughs> they got speakers on the outside. <laughs> Here he is! What's happening? Sweating hot and horrible and nasty. How are you doing, friend? Hello, hello! How's it going? It looks so good! The last time we were in here, it was still a bit of a shell, but now it's finished and it's open. So we're going to shoot a promo video for these guys to show it off. It's so good! I can't believe they've done it! Like, everything looks perfect. They've used a lot of like recyclable materials and a lot of things were donated, a lot of things were nicked out of other like offices that had closed down and stuff. It is brilliant. From like the lighting to the music. Come and look at the bathroom. Like look how cool that is. <laughs> and look at this. Just to remind you every day. Be kind. Love it. They got sausages, babes. We got sausages. <laughs> <laughs> 
Amy made a mistake of coming to see Holly and now Amy's just shopping for makeup. <laughs> so we just come out from seeing Big Moose. Always buzzing after we see those guys. Uh, Coffee shop just looks incredible. So cool. My face always hurts after seeing them. We just know that we're in for a good time and a good vibe whenever we go home and see Jack and Chloe yeah. and Tanya. She was lush. So um, I guess it was worth waking up for. Tell them why, Craig. So Ian, the guy who's sort of involved with the building of Big Moose, he's an actual champion. He's head of S2, which is St. David's, and it's the biggest shopping, shopping place. Shopping centre in Cardiff. And so we told Ian about the Mongo Rally, and he was like, you need a sponsor? Oh, I'll help you with that. He's like, how much do you need? We like 10 grand. He's like, leave it with me. And we were like, what? <laughs> he was like, yeah, I'll give you 10 grand, no worries. I was like, are you serious though? Like. Honestly, <laughs> hang on, River Island's this way. I think he knows a lot of people and he's such a good guy. And he was planning on doing the Mongol Rally last year, but unfortunately his brother died, so he didn't get round to doing it. So I feel like he, you know, he wants to send us off to do it, which is brilliant. So hopefully he can get at least some sponsorship, it would be great, but I mean, if he could cover it. Back at home. That is the end of this vlog. We're going to end it today because we're going to post another video gonna nap. in a few days. Amy's going to nap because she's not used to these early mornings. So that is it for today's vlog. Thanks so much for all the comments just as before. We bloody love you guys. Make sure you press subscribe if you're brand new. Yeah, thanks guys. We've had a lot of comments saying that they actually really like the new kind of format that we're doing because not everybody has a perfect life. You know these Instagrammers you've seen, it looks like they've got the dream life, they're always on the road. No. Okay? <laughs> just no. Just editing the top 10 things and doing Iceland survive. Very soon. Remember guys, always, rule your own world. One, two, three, bye! bye. <laughs> <laughs>